As they head home for the summer, the class of 2012 faces an uncertain future. For many, it's one filled with job searches and student loan payments. The uncertainty is, it is scary. It's the, it's the abyss, and I don't know, you know, I'm jumping in the deep end with it. Kevin Ward, who graduates from St. Anselm's College in New Hampshire this weekend, says this uncertainty will affect how he votes in November's presidential election. The economy will really be on the top of my list, but also, you know, social issues are really up there. Ward is one of the millennials, 18 to 29 year olds, whose votes in 2008 helped President Obama take the White House. There were two million more youth voters than there had been in 2004. Um, I don't think that's going to happen again. Some of the shine is certainly uh, diminished from the president. Though a recent poll has President Obama with a sizable lead over Mitt Romney, Neil Levesque of the New Hampshire Political Institute thinks he could still be in trouble with the youth vote. Right now, he's up about 17 points with youth voters, but he's still only maxing out at a 43% rate within that demographic group. Ward is not totally convinced. It's different than it was before. I was younger, so I was a little bit, I think, uh, more, I was easily influenced. Do we want to jack up interest rates on millions of students? President Obama to... knows the youth vote is an important constituency. Mitt Romney supporters are also pushing for the young voters. I want to graduate college with a job. I want to graduate college and not have to move back in with my parents. This time I'll be voting for Mitt Romney. Justin Colella doesn't need a super PAC campaign to convince him to vote for Romney. Mitt Romney possesses the qualities as well as the experience, both within business as well as politics. And to emphasize how creating new jobs is the number one issue for young voters, millennials say it's more important to them than health care or reducing the deficit. Terrell Brown, CBS News, Washington.